Hey guys, Keelan Lancer here, once and ever Keelan Lancer Gaming. Don't forget the bell button, subscribe button, to get notification to my channel. Alright guys, um, I wanted to talk about this game that I played, indie game that I played called Jack Move. It's a really, really fun and entertaining game. It is basically a turn-based RPG. Now I'm going to break down uh, the layers of the game and stuff like that when it comes down to story and thus and so. You guys know automatically once we jump into it, okay? The creators of this game is called So Romance, which that at first I wasn't sure what was at the name at first until I wound up looking it up. And then also the publisher of this game is called Hyper Train Digital. Okay, now this is the first time I've ever heard of uh, both of the, the publisher and the developer. Guys came out of nowhere, but these guys have truly, truly have made a gem. Now we're going to jump in and break down the story of this game. So let's go uh, dive in and you know get a little uh, briefing on the story okay so here we go they whisper her name on the streets was the Sarlet uh, the Sarlis, a mysterious uh, veteran of the data wars Noah Solis keeps to uh, fight against the corporations alive as a vigilante hacker for hire uh, empowering the downtrodden of uh, undermining those with power when she uh, receives uh, an emergency message from her uh, estranged father the erratic uh, Dr. Uh, Abner uh, Sorles, whose uh, wife, uh, wife's death spurred him uh, to become the leading researcher of digital uh, re-mention. Uh, Noah is, uh, is, uh, trust, uh, is thrust into a world of murder, kidnapping, dark research, and the corporation that would steal it for their own ends, Mona, uh, Mona Mine. Wow. Now, when I first played the game, when I first played, uh, played the demo and stuff like that, they pretty much put you in a certain part of the game uh, a little bit after the beginning of the story. So most likely, when the game comes out, you'll be able to play that particular part. So anyway, as I'm looking within the game, I'm basically playing the first beginning part, well, beginning part of the demo. I'm walking around this, uh, this particular city, and the city tells a story to itself. And that's what I found really interesting, especially the dynamic that she has between our, her hacker friend, uh, Reitner, which was uh, pretty cool. The, demand, the, the, the dynamic between those two talking on the intercom, it was just really, really funny. A lot of tropes in there, guys. You're going to get a lot of laughs out of their relationship. But anyway, we're going to jump into the gameplay of uh, this game, okay? So uh, let's dive into it. Okay, so this is a turn-based RPG. The game has a deck system that almost kind of reminds me of Mega Man Bell Network, but with its own unique uh, twist on it. And from me playing uh, this particular uh, game, I've realized like jumping straight into it, kid first and whatnot, was a great idea. Um, when you jump into the battle system, they pretty much walk you through uh, how you use the chip system. And I found it very, very, very unique. In order to use certain particular moves within the system, there's a like a nice little format called the VMS, which is Virtual Memory System. So basically, you get to choose and select your abilities that you want to put onto your RAM system. You have pretty much a, a, a MP bar and you have an HP bar up the top, and this can be viewed at any time in the game. So you can view it in battle, and you can basically view it outside of battle, which is the cool part. And then you have all these other particular moves you can put onto uh, your character. You have uh, like physical chips, you have cyberware chips, and you have electricware chips, and you have wetware chips. Okay. Now, physical chips is like an all-round chip, and then you have the cyberware, which basically it is weak, is weak against uh, wetware, and then you have electric wire, which is weak against cyberware, and then you have uh, wetware, which is weak against uh, electric, uh, electricware. Now, there's going to be so many different enemy types that are going to be weak against certain uh, abilities and stuff, okay? So, when I played, I pretty much used the, I wound up using most of the time the electric wear and the wet wear, but due to the enemies that I was fighting, which is really, really cool, as you can see within the clip here. Also, you get like a nice little meter bar, which is the jack move. I like how these guys worked in the title. That's a specific special move that pretty much requires you to put um, a pattern in a pattern in, in order to do increased damage which is down down I was messing it up because <laughs> I wasn't sure uh, what time the timing of it my rhythm when it comes down to certain things can be a little crappy but I got a little bit better as I played the game okay so as you traverse through the city you'll find other particular chips that will allow you to be able to do different things in battle I've, I like the counter chip 
is because the counter chip allows me to counter each and every time the enemies attack me and that was one of the usefulest chips in the game uh well far as on the demo there the other chips were useful but i really liked that the counter the counter um chip was due to like i said before you're going to have other enemies that's going to be on the, on the field but also when you look on uh look on the screen as you're fighting it's a turn system so pretty much all my enemies were going to like come basically coming before me as i fought so you have to use the catch which the catch is basically the defenses i like how these guys use that uh, uh, uh hacker lingo uh talk uh, when it comes when it came down to certain actions within the game that's what i found very very unique about it so when you defend it pretty much brings your turn around a little bit faster and allows you to make different moves that's why i appreciate it um, um that particular thing when it and, and mixing it with the counter system at the same time that i installed on my character you get other little mechanics too where you can be able to heal using the particular heal chips you'll be able to use like chips that can buff you you can be able to use chips that'll bring up your mp and it's it's a lot of different things that you'll be able to get within the game and these guys have truly truly like i said before had created something beautiful here and i love i love this demo the demo is really 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 fun okay so we're going to move on to uh the graphics okay uh this takes an early 90s uh, uh super nes era game using pixel animation for the characters mixed with uh today's look uh, as you can see within the game this game looks like uh looks like an updated super nintendo game which that was my time era when it came down to gaming and these guys have really really truly hit home when it came down to uh, my childhood and uh, like I said before um, games like this only true always truly captures my eyes like I played a game recently called uh, was it uh, I think it's called Beyond Two Souls I think it's no, not Beyond Two Souls it, but it was this indie game that I played um, Crossing Souls that game was really 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 good almost like a Super Nintendo style uh, pixel style game mixed with uh, 3d sprites that game was really really good you guys to check that out as well and it seemed like these guys as well had took some up-to-date routes and mixed it with old uh pixel art which is phenomenal guys this that that's just is just freaking phenomenal and i love the world that the main character noah is surrounded by and it has a story to itself and it's making me ask questions as to what's going on in this area why is this area like this what's happening to the world around this character what's happening to uh her father where's her father at and um a bunch of other things guys okay so now we're going to jump into the music all right it has a, a techno sound a techno soundtrack that has somewhat of a 80s sound and and basically that's that's during the era i came out i was i was born during the the late 80s guys very very late 80s and um a lot of my parents played a lot of old 80s music especially when it came down to some techno music that came from tron as well so uh, that's what this is reminding me of when it comes down to uh its sound choice uh this is a cyberpunk rpg it truly 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 is and i am just amazed at the soundtrack of this game and i'm hoping i'm hoping that these guys will release a soundtrack to this game because like i said before this soundtrack is fire um also, I want to let you guys know as well that the creators uh, of this game had uh, tweeted me and uh, basically thanking me uh, for giving their game, for giving their game a shot. And the thing is, like, I didn't think that these guys were going to wind up liking, you know, liking my tweet. And I just thought it was really, really cool. So thank, uh, uh, thanks, uh, Ed uh, Paris, for uh, checking out uh, my video. Uh, uh, my reaction video and as I said before I told you I was going to uh, do uh, a follow-up video on the demo as well you guys did a phenomenal job and I can't wait to purchase this game when it comes down to any games I do buy a lot of any games especially for my Nintendo, my Nintendo switch so I will be buying your game on Nintendo switch but if your guys release for the PC I'm going to buy it for P for the PC and I'm going to support you guys you guys are doing a really really terrific job I love love indie games and uh, you guys are just doing really really cool so whatever information you guys are going to post out i'm going to cover it so i'm going to be keeping an uh, eye on you guys closely <laughs> but anyway guys i encourage everybody to try this game this game is really really fun for those who haven't played rpgs especially classic rpgs 
I advise you to try this game. The game is really, really easy to get into. The mechanics are really easy to get into. They, these guys pretty much walk you through how to play the game. And that's what I think that younger people today, when it comes down to uh, traditional RPGs, that's what they need to in order to get into RPGs. It's just a nice little tutorial to walk you through the game. And they, they did a phenomenal job. And these guys know exactly what they're doing when it comes down to tutorials in, in these particular type of games. Um, also, you guys, you can download this game on Steam. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if they got a if they got a Nintendo Switch uh, download. I'm not sure. But what you guys need to do is download this game on Steam. This game is really, really fun to play. It took me literally an hour to get through the demo because I wanted to fight, 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 fight uh, in the game. I wanted to constantly fight in the game. But also, I forgot to mention as well that this game also has a, a timer meter pretty much to uh, get into encounters. Now, I thought that was cool. Now, you don't really see that in uh, turn-based RPGs. You don't see that at all. And I think that was a nice addition that they added to the game, which makes it unique. So it, know, it basically lets me know when I'm going to get into a fight so I can prepare myself. That was smart on that part. I really like that. Um, but also, like I was saying before, guys, download this game on Steam. I'll put a link in the description below. Have at this game, guys. This game is really, really fun. You're going to enjoy it. Don't forget the like button, guys. That's very, very important. Like this video. Share this video. Don't forget the bell button, the subscribe button, guys. Comment. Let me know what you think of this game, guys. This game is really, really fun. I want to know your experiences with this game. Uh, this is Kill Lancer, and we got more uh, games coming up from uh, the summer of gaming. So stay tuned.